Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm, and today we're going to run through a little uh, Cisco thing that I run into every so often, and it catches me every time, because I guess I don't do this enough and frequently enough to remember. So I thought it'd be beneficial for you to see what I'm talking about. And in a nutshell, it's quite simple. Uh, I've got a router here, I'm configuring for a client, and I've already configured it. And when I reloaded it, because that's a habit I have, it comes back with the system configuration dialog, as you can see, which basically asks if you want to configure it. Well, that's implying that, guess what? It's not configured. So I want to walk through what that really means and, and why not to panic. So the big thing I want to start with, let me just uh, hit enter here and let this thing continue. I want to show you that uh, if I go to enable mode and I type show run, the running configuration has the hostname router, which is the default. That's not what I configure. But if I type show start up config, you'll see that it says Rogers 2. So it's actually, um, you can see there, it's it's got the config, but it's not using it, right? And this is just a demo config. So yeah, yeah, I know. Enable password down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to hear about it. And that's fine. So basically, from this point, we want to find out why it's not using that configuration, the startup configuration. So if I just type show ver, it's going to go and, of course, give me all that lovely stuff. And what I'm really concerned about is this configuration register, and it's 2142. What 2142 means is the router will bypass the startup configuration, okay? And, and that's quite common. When people store routers or equipment, they don't want to have to guess what the previous password was uh, or try to remember if it, the config was wiped out. Or sometimes they want to keep the configuration on it for whatever reason. So the configuration is set to that value. Well, we want to change that value. So let's let's change 2142. So we're going to go config T, which is terminal. From there, I'm going to type config register. And I'm going to change it to 0x2102. Now, here's the thing. I'm just going to end show ver again. And this is one little thing that some people get caught up on. It doesn't take effect right away, so you have to reload it, right? So it's telling me that, hey, 2102 will be used on the next reload. So now I have to reload it. And the key here is system configuration has not been modified. Well, I haven't changed anything anyways, right? It's talking about that register. I, I'm not, not going to save anything. I'm just going to type no and enter. So now I'm just going to pause the video, and I'll let you know what it looks like when it starts up. Well, there we are. It's rebooted. I just saved you, uh, I don't know, two minutes of your life without having to watch that screen. I'm going to press enter to get started. And the key here is I do not want to see that uh, configuration dialog. And you can see it doesn't, right? It says the name, the banner pops up, and now it's asking for the password. So there you go. It's uh, short and simple. It only took about three minutes for me to explain it. I'll put the link uh, to a Cisco document that will explain anything that you may uh, have as far as questions go. And I'll also put the commands in the article for you. Have a good day. Bye for now.